for somebody. Gumnandi.
Ninguém engana 
praying, keep praying. Just know he cares. Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the children but just know that someone is praying for you Especially what just happened again in KZN. Uh, you've been praying, but you say, Lord, what's happening? What's happening? Just say, Master, the tempest is raging. The billows are tossing high. The sky is so shadow with blackness. No shadow.
when we keep praying, we ask for peace. I'm going to ask Pastor Ntlapo in KZN just to share a word. Tell us what's happening in KZN. Let me take this time and greet God's people, the saints of the living God, in the wonderful name, the only name that saves everybody. There is no salvation outside of this name. There is no relief. There is no restoration. There is no redemption outside of this name, the name of Jesus. I greet you all on this day in the wonderful name of the only one who has the copyright and the patent right to our salvation, the name of Jesus Christ. The KwaZulu-Natal province suffered one of the most devastating disasters in the last couple of weeks in the month of April. And six weeks later, we saw a repeat of the disasters, the unprecedented, unparalleled, unseen, previously unseen, unexperienced previously disasters that this province have ever seen in a long time. And so we have heard two disasters in the month of April and just a couple of days ago of disasters that brought about untold misery and sorrow and pain, destitution, displacement to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people. Lives have changed to many forever. Loss of life has happened. We still have up to this day, persons that have not been found, who have gone missing, who have swept away by rivers because of the torrential rains, the incessant rain that came down on this province. Many asking the question, where is God? when we cry, where is God when we lose loved ones? Where is God when the most vulnerable and the poor in society are hurt and hurt and hurt yet again? Where is God? There's a song that says he was there all the time. And I would like to say in the midst of the rain that came in the middle of the night, when people were unsuspecting, were relaxing in their homes, some were asleep. Right there in the midst of those rains, God was there. The song says he was there all the time. He was there when many were swept away. He was there when cars and buildings and roads were washed away, leaving nothing except gaping holes. He was there all the time, and he is there even now, even as I speak right now, he is there. It could have been worse. The entire nation in this province could have perished, but because he is there all the time, we have survived. And the reason why we have survived when we have lost loved ones is so that we remain to become witnesses so that we can tell the story. 442 people perished and died in these disasters. Our church members, members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the KwaZulu Natal province have not been saved, some of them, have not been exempted and immune from the sorrow and the pain. They have lost 
loved ones as well. We have had our members who have lost their properties. And we want to thank God at this time for the ministry of our church members, our pastors, of our service organizations like Mills on Wheels, Community Services, Mokes, and lately Adra SA came in as well to lend a hand. Uh, but above all of these, beyond all of these, God himself, his hand has been above everything. Were it not for the presence of our Lord, we would have perished. We would not be here. No one would be here to tell the story. In the midst of the tears and the pain of members that have not been found up to this day, we can say God has been good in spite of it all, in spite of the darkness, God has shined the light. He brought the silver lining in an otherwise dark, hopeless cloud. And I just want to read here my brothers and my sisters uh, from uh, the book of Nehemiah chapter nine, verse six. The prophet says, thus saith the Lord who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it. These words are repeated in Isaiah 42, verse 5. You alone are the Lord. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them. And you preserve them all. God has preserved his people. When nature turned because of incessant rains, torrential rains, God preserved his people. The prophet says here, the host of heaven worship you. And because you have preserved your people, Father, you have kept your people, Father, we have survived. Because of you, Lord, we worship you. We praise you. We have another reason today to say God is good. And we've just read from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 6. And so as a church in KwaZulu Natal, we'd like to reach out to friends and call unto everyone who'd like to lend a hand beyond the prayers that you are already sending on our behalf, prayers of intercession on behalf of the people of KwaZulu-Natal. We would also wish for brothers and sisters, for patriots, for citizens, to also send cash donations to the Adventist community services in the KwaZulu-Natal Free State Conference. The ACS program is active on the ground, having mobilized our members. And I would like to invite you to partner with us as we mobilize our people to go and help those who are displaced, who are kept in community halls uh, with food, with clothing, uh, with blankets, uh, medical supplies. I would like to invite you to call the KNFC office and ask for the ACS office and see how your cash donation can reach us so that we are able to help and to reach those who need to be reached, those who are having questions, those who are saying, where are the agents of mercy? Where are the people God is using to alleviate our situation and to change our situation around? Well, we are here as the Adventist Community Services in the KNFC uh, conference, send your cash donation 
send an offering so that we are able to help God's people through your partnership and through your help. I'm going to invite you that we pray together and, and thank God for preserving his people. He will preserve. The devil is a liar. The devil thought he's got a foothold. But Nehemiah says, oh no, God is still in charge. God is still in control. And we will help our people out. Uh, it doesn't matter what happens. And so when the devil wants to do what he does, which is to accuse the brethren, which is to inflict pain, we serve a God and we have a God up in heaven who brings relief. And you, my brother, my sister, may well be the agent of relief that God should use on this day. Come with us as we help God's people join the Adventist community services and let us serve the community in KwaZulu Natal in the name of Jesus. Come, let's pray together. Gracious Father, we just so thankful that you have planted people in our path. You have brought people in our lives who are here to make our lives better. And Father, we know the pain that our people in this province are experiencing right now. But we call unto your name now to speak to somebody so that we are able to rally around your people who are destitute, who are displaced, who are hopeless, and give them hope. Give them hope through a meal, a warm meal. Give them hope through a food parcel. Give them hope through medical supplies, those who are on chronic medication, those who do not have shelter would like to set up and build something for them as a church. And we pray, Father, that you talk to somebody so that we are able to partner together as a community of faith through community services and to help your people. Thank you, Father, for the ministry of Dina and Kapo and the team tonight as we comfort our people. And we pray, Father, that as we use this platform, comforting God's people, all of us together, may join hands and hold hands together and throw our arms around each other's shoulders and to serve your people, serve the suffering communities in this province, all in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mfundi Swami. Uh, we just want to say it's sweet to trust in Jesus. Oh
shine his countenance upon you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding. We still have to comfort God's people. Till we meet again next Friday, let's look out. Let's be on the lookout. Uh, time zones, we are still thinking how to do this. I'll be advised accordingly, but be blessed till next week. To those of you who've lost their loved ones, go bury your loved ones, but then Let's keep on trusting in Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.